Hello, this is Michael Lively, and welcome to your CompTIA Server Plus Assignment 2. And in Assignment 2, uh, we're actually going to be looking at computer memory. Now, you can somewhat think of this class as A-plus on steroids. We're going to give you all that good A-plus information, but also plus a little extra. Now, uh, as opposed to doing A-plus in 10 weeks like you've done in the past, you'll be doing A-plus plus a little extra in just one class. So there's a lot to go through. So as opposed to the first assignment, where you could have probably finished that in maybe two hours, you're going to spend 10 to 12 hours on this assignment. A lot of videos to watch, a lot of material to read, and you need to make sure you prepare for this. And now for you students who have not taken the A-plus exam yet, this is a great review. And so we're going to do it all in one class. And so we're going to start with storage devices. And two great videos by, of course, Professor Messer we need to watch here. And we define, you know, gigahertz, clock speed, caches, and the three main caches, cache 1, 2, and 3 right here. Make sure you go through that, understand what those are. And here's a i7 quad core chip, and you can take a look at how the uh, four sections of the L3 cache, which feed the L2 cache, which feeds the one. L1 cache. A uh, number of CPU technology uh, videos you want to watch, once again by uh, Professor Messer. And that's on CPU technologies, a memory overview, and memory types. And a little write up here on symmetric processing. We have several processors working on the same data set. And below that, we hit a bus overview, which, and again, several videos to watch by Professor Messer, a bus introduction and bus architecture. Talk about the memory basics, system bus and the different uh, architectures there and of course uh, you see the PCI familiar architecture that we're dealing with uh, in the previous set of computers and now we have the PCI Express and a number of other architectures which have popped up and that's all discussed in this write-up and here's a couple of videos you need to watch on adapter cards one and two once again these are Professor Messer videos and in that and below that I add a bit of text uh, to fill that in got a little bit of memory overview here look at measurements of memory and talk about paging tables virtual memory and how basically memory RAM can be hooked in with a hard disk actually to actually expand the amount of memory that you're working with and how you would use paging to uh, work with that and how that has become somewhat of a legacy idea uh, as technology moves forward memory interleaving and here's a nice little example of what memory interleaving is make sure you go through that example and understand it let's move on down a little bit more then we cover memory types. And one cool site that we actually have here is www.crucial.com, which can actually go in and you can type in the type of computer you are. Here's a Dell Octiplex. It'll send back actually the type of memory that you need to purchase. So actually really good to work with. We describe the many types of different memory and the form factors for those memory. SIM, DIM, RIM, and SODIM, actually used for laptops. Here's a video on memory slots that you need to watch. Once again, a video created by Dr. Messer. And uh, a write up below that on error checking. Make sure you go through that and learn what ECC means. Okay, got a nice little write up here. Goes on and on. So you got a lot of work here, a lot of reading, a lot of videos to watch. It's going to take you about 10, 12 hours to get through all this material. Want to look at uh, buffering and make sure that you understand what that means. Uh, disk subsystem overview, where we talk about PADA, which was an older architecture. And uh, make sure you watch the videos on that. And then we have below that, SATA, which is a newer architecture, which uh, many other computers are running today. Make sure you uh, go through that uh, uh, reading assignment, and also uh, there are a number of videos that I have on SATA, once again produced by Professor Messer. And you can take a look at the SATA cabling right here, and uh, it is fast. And the form factor is much smaller. It's hot pluggable as well, which is very important for uh, servers. So you can plug a disk in and out as the server is still running. So there you go. And there's a different status standards. One. There's a two and there's a three. So make sure you understand the standards, how fast they run, how they compare. And there's also eSATA. And there's a write-up of that below here. And what eSATA does is actually allows you to plug in external SATA storage devices, so that's pretty cool. Make sure you read and understand all about that. The RAID technology, you need to understand that and how that works and how the different standards have evolved and how RAID can actually be used to back up systems. And that's RAID 1, RAID 2, RAID 3, RAID 4, RAID 5, and RAID 6. Make sure you understand the differences between each one of these formats. And here's a couple of videos on RAID, once again produced by 
Professor Messer 1 and 2. Make sure you watch those. And next, we move into understanding chipsets. We've got a nice little write-up here. Make sure you definitely understand how the North Bridge is working, especially with the faster stuff, such as RAM, AGP, and CPU. And the South Bridge is actually working with the slower stuff, such as your uh, BIOS, your IDE, your keyboards, and all that stuff. So get a good understanding of the difference between North Bridge and South Bridge and how these technologies work. And actually, there's a write-up here on chipset that will actually go through that, once again, produced by Professor Messer. Thank you so much, Professor Messer. You really helped out this class. And then there's a write-up here on BIOS. And so you want to go through there and read all about BIOS, what that is, how it's used. And let's keep going. Along with the BIOS, there's a, a discussion of the CMOS and how the CMOS works as the chip that holds the BIOS. There's a CMOS chip right there. A little write-up on BIOS chip vulnerabilities. There's, there's also a few viruses out there that BIOSes can get as well. Talk about the CMOS chip itself and what that means. And the BIOS, of course, is held on the CMOS chip. And by Professor Messer, there are four videos on BIOS and CMOS. One, two, three, four. Make sure you watch those. Make sure you know how to go into your BIOS. And make sure you're, you're, that you're careful that you don't change something that doesn't need to be changed. And if you do, make sure you write things down before you change them. Then we have a whole discussion on storage devices. We're going to talk about them a little bit more. And, it's, and we're going to look at PATA, SATA, and SCSI. And here's an image of a SATA drive and one of a PATA drive and one of a SCSI drive. You can see the different terminals, you know, and what your and different connectors. And so that's how you tell the difference between those. But of course, coming up on the scene, the newest drive is the SSD, solid state drives. Solid state drives, of course, they're a lot faster. There's no spinning parts, but of course, they're more expensive. Make sure you read all about that. And here's a number of videos uh, by Professor Messer on storage devices. Watch those for me and make sure you come up to speed on storage devices and how they work. Three videos there. And a whole write-up on SCSI. Also in your book, towards the end of Chapter 2, is a great discussion of SCSI. Make sure you go through and, and read all about that. SCSI is kind of dwindling, but since newer technologies are beginning to replace it, however, there's a lot of SCSI systems out there. You need to know how to terminate them, how to work with them. Here are some of the SCSI standards 1, 2, and 3. Make sure you understand those and the differences between those. And we talk a little bit about some of the newer technologies that are coming along. Of course, uh, you know, whenever you're working with disk systems, the one thing you're going to know is that disks are always going to fail. So you need to, in a sense, watch those gifts, use them some smart technology, and determine when they're going to fail so you can replace them. And some of the things you need to look at to know if this is going to fail or not are basically the temperature, the spin-up time, the internal error logs, and the retries. And as these things, essentially, tend to increase, then you need to make sure you go in and back up and replace that drive and, in a sense, use a smart technology and don't let drives fail because when you do, you lose precious data. Uh, the last uh, uh, information, which is also in uh, the chapter in your book, is Fibre Channel. Make sure you take a look at that. That's a newer technology that's coming down the line, and I also have a little Wikipedia article for you to read. And so that's the end of assignment for class two. A lot of material here. And in the next class, we're actually going to start Network Components, which essentially will be a review of Network Plus on steroids with a little bit extra. Make sure that with this class assignment that you also read chapter one on motherboard architecture, processor memory, and BIOS, and Chapter 2 on storage devices. So get to it. you got a lot of work, and I expect to see some good results. So I'll be talking to you guys uh, this week, and we'll be giving you this assignment, and we'll see how well you do. So keep on going for it. Uh, take this opportunity in a sense to review for your A-plus exam, and next class to review for your M-plus exam with a little bit of extra that's added here, and you'll be set to go with CompTIA Server Plus. So thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively. I'll see you next time.